15-year-old Lee Cussman enjoys her time on the web. But she knows all it takes is one mistake, and she's looking at trouble. Pretty scary when you think about it in the hole. It seems so innocent at first, but, I mean, you can get into some really dangerous stuff on the Internet. You say, I'll go look at this person's profile. It ends up just being appalling. I mean, you wouldn't believe the things are on there. And then, I mean, I'm immediately clicking to get out of it. The Cussman sisters did not go on the web looking for pornography. It found them, and they're not alone. A recent report in the journal Pediatrics found millions of children are exposed to unwanted Internet porn. It was not their choice. Of those exposed to the material, 66% said it was accidental, such as misspelling a web address, pop-up ads, or spam emails. Some experts believe the percentages are even higher. It is a wonderful tool for education in that, but there is a dark side to this that you really have got to be aware of and guard yourself against. Pornography is rampant in cyberspace, where typing one wrong word in a search engine can bring up millions of sites. It has gotten worse. It hasn't gotten any better. Donna Rice Hughes helps lead the fight for Internet safety as president of Enough is Enough. Much of it, even though it's a multi-billion dollar industry, is available for free. The pornographers put free pictures on their home pages, and they often trick people, including kids, into getting there. Enough is Enough lobbies Congress to pass new laws to protect families, but its primary focus is to empower parents. Parents are the first line of defense, and they can do a lot to protect their kids from sexual predators and pornography online. Parents definitely need the help. Hughes says a majority of moms and dads are not implementing any safety rules, and only about half take advantage of free parental controls and filtering systems. Enough is Enough hopes to change this through its Rules and Tools program. One of the main safety rules parents are encouraged to follow is to keep the computer in an open main area of the home, like here in this family room. In this way, parents can more closely monitor where their kids are navigating online. Other rules include find out if children are using computers and devices outside the home to access the Internet. Know all of your child's information, including passwords, screen names, and online friends. Limit and monitor the amount of time your child spends on the Internet. And keep the lines of communication open. Spend time with them. Ask the right questions. That's very important. And don't just assume that because you're a good parent and you have a good child that your kid is safe. That is not the case. But Hughes says rules are not enough. She recommends parents use tools such as America Online Filtering, which is free, even if you're not an AOL user. The new Microsoft Windows Vista system also features free parental controls. With Vista, you can block websites, set time limits, and review activity reports that show where your kids have been surfing. It's nice to know we have the, the capabilities of using parental controls so that if she's on the computer or her friends are on the computer, then we can monitor what websites and what she's accessing on the computer. Enough is Enough believes it's critical that parents act now before it's too late. There's a new breed of sexual predator, and you're surpri- you'll be surprised as to who it is. It's our kids, teens and kids who have gotten hooked on internet pornography, are now beginning to sexually exploit and abuse other kids and younger kids. We were concerned about her childhood being robbed from her by these kinds of intrusions. The Cussmans took many of these steps to protect their family. Internet safety experts hope your family will do the same. Mark Martin, CBN News.